Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, building twerp. So I'm just going to make a clone of my previous uh, virtual box. And that's one really great thing about using virtual box is how you can just swap to different clones. And we're going to call this nugget twerp, you know, and uh, so that way we can build um, team win recovery project in nugget. Uh, normally, twerp is built in OmniROM. That's the default. That's how you build it. But we're going to look at building it in Lineage OS. So building Twerp in Lineage OS, here you go. Brings up like new new friendly guide. This guide was great. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's kind of old. Um, a lot of references to Cyanogen mod and uh, <clears throat> doesn't cover uh, past Marshmallow. So um, we're going to uh, go ahead and do something a little bit newer. So the next one in that search option was minimal manifest twerp for lineage OS. And so I clicked on that and it brought up uh, this wonderful GitHub. Uh, and this is definitely where you want to be. So this allows us to download just the bare minimum of Android that is required for building the recovery portion. And it's going to have everything you need for building twerp. In it. So we're still waiting for our machine to complete here, but what we're going to look at is downloading this source and building something in this lineage OS twerp uh, method. Now keep in mind that originally twerp was intended to be built on OmniROM. So they do have a minimal manifest for OmniROM in the same repository that you can check out. Uh, but do do keep that in mind. And the reason I say keep that in mind is because most device trees for building twerp are designed and set up for using OmniROM. So if you want it to be as easy as possible, download the minimal OmniROM and just use whatever tree is available for your device. And that's going to work, work right out of the box. If we did that, that would be a little boring. So we're going to do something a little more exciting. We're going we're gonna to convert one from OmniROM to Lineage OS, and just so we can build twerp. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Of course, this is a copy uh, with the fixes that I put in here for the VirtualBox uh, screen resolution problem. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go back and take a look at it uh, if you're having any trouble with uh, running uh, Ubuntu in a VirtualBox. Uh, that's definitely something good to check out. Let's see here. Okay, so let's bring up our terminal. Uh, we're going to lock this to the launcher. So that way it's always there. We close it. Yep, stays right there. We close it. Yep, magic trick right here. You can impress your kids. There we go. So, uh, we're going to work on building this. Now, if we just tried to repo sync this right now and build it, it, it obviously wouldn't build very well, would it? Because uh, we haven't installed any tools or anything that we need. So let's go to the AOSP uh, getting the source. And we look at our Android open source project and all the things that we need to do. Close these here. All the things that we need to do to get ready to build, and we need to set all that up. So we're going to establish our build environment. Um, let's see. Uh, note about uh, Java, maybe we'll talk about that in a minute. But actually, Let's see. So we'll make a directory for our bin. We're going to go into our bin. And we're going to add our path, just like in the instructions here. Now, doing it this way, adding this path per these instructions right here, is great, except for it will only last this one instance. If you close this terminal window, that path is going to go away. So we'll talk about how to fix that better. Uh, a little later. Um, so I want to curl or grab this stuff 
can put it in here. And oh, yeah, I better open this up in the browser that's actually on the virtual machine. I, I can't actually copy and paste text from outside the machine here. Okay, so let's open this up here. Let's, there we go. So we download that. We're gonna chmod it. A plus X, we're making it executable so now it can be used. And look at our manifest here. I already have it brought up, so I'll just go ahead and type it here. So if you make directory, and we're just going to call it uh, lineage OS uh, twerp, because that's, that's our goal, right? Build twerp and lineage OS. So here we go. We'll change directory, get in there. And we're going to repo in it, and uh, we're going to get and GitHub, and we'll uh, platform manifest twerp lineage os dot git dash branch twerp fourteen point one, and this is not going to work. Why not? Oh, look, because Git's not available. We haven't installed all the rest of the tools that we need, which we just talked about. So it's okay that we've typed this because we can use it later. Let's see. It's not giving me the right menu here. Let me make this bigger. There we go. So establishing a build environment, we need, um, we need, all of these right here. So all of this line. First, we're going to run sudo apt-get update. Make sure that we have the latest version of all the packages. And while that's updating, we're going to grab this line here. No, I don't want all the text on the page. Just this line. Okay. So we have an update list of packages and we just uh, center click to paste that in. And we say, yep, we wanna install all that stuff. So that's gonna take it a minute uh, to install. Okay, so it's finished installing. Thought I'd spare you the pain of watching that. And now we need to talk about Java. So, of course, to build um, Nugget, we're going to need um, Java version 8, OpenJDK 8. And we talked about adding a repository uh, in a different video that had these in there, which I think is the best way to go. But I want to show you how we can do it here as well, just by downloading the packages. Um, and we're going to look at the problem you run into when you do just download these packages. So it's going to take this just a minute to download, and then we'll talk about <clears throat> installing them from these packages and what problem you're going to uh, run into. Uh, if you do want to check out the uh, repository method, um, it's uh, back in the uh, AOKP uh, nugget build section of the uh, previous videos. Highly recommend it. I really think that's the way to go. Um, but I do want to show you, uh, per the instructions, what, uh, what the Android Open Source Project says you're supposed to do. Okay, so we've got all of those downloaded. And now we want to install them. So 
Let's go back to our uh, terminal. We're going to change directory. We're going to get out of this lineage OS slurp. We're looking here at the our home directory. We're going to go to the download folder where we downloaded these. And if we uh, run dpack, oh, uh, sudo dpackage, dpkg, dash i, asterisk, dot deb. Now we're going to install these packages. So of course it's going to run through the process and install those. And, and it says they're installed, but there were errors were encountered while processing. And so now it's not properly installed. So if we try like Java version, um, Java, uh, you know, version or Java AC version or anything like that, it's not going to work. Um, and there's nothing on here on the web page that tells you further instructions for making this work properly. Uh, disprove Java AC, you know, typing help. Um, it, it's not working at all. So I wanted to put this in here, and this is why I like the repository method I mentioned before, because you end up with a problem like this. So now if you run sudo, uh, let's see. Exit out of here. Um, the best way to fix this problem is uh, is let's change to the super user sudo su, and we're going to ask get install and uh, and we'll just pick something like aptitude here. So if we try to install anything going to read the tree and then it's going to say, hey, wait, you've got all these problems. You have unmet dependencies for all these Java um, programs that you're trying. So try apt-get dash f install. So if we put this apt-get f install in here and we just hit enter just like that, it's going to ask to install these, these extra programs. So we say yes. Now, once these extra programs are installed, Installed, now our Java will actually work. I know that sounds crazy, but now if we just type Java hit tab, uh, so if we look at Java version, let's see, uh, uh, Java AC help, what was the command here for the version? Uh, Java AC, we'll go down and take a look. Any command, you can run the man and then the name of the command, and it will bring up the manual for that command. So man for Java AC and ah, dash version. I was putting two dashes, so we just need one dash. So we'll Q to quit. So Java AC dash version. So we hit that, and there we go, Java AC 1.8. So now we have our Java set up properly. And none of that is in the instructions on the uh, the web page here. So I just wanted to, um, well, I guess it is. No, I guess I guess it is. Sudo apt get dash s install was on the bottom. So I stand corrected. So it is on there. I guess they might have added that um, at some point. So let's get back to our uh, lineage OS uh, tour. And we look at our history. And we see we've got a repro in it, and it's number 10. I want to show you a little trick if you're not familiar with this. If you do an exclamation mark and then 10, hit enter, and and it didn't work. Um, and why didn't it work? Because we uh, we set up our path, um, and I remember I told you that was only going to work in that one instance when you set up your path that way, and so. Um, we see our, our bin repo is there. Um, and if we look at our path, we're going to see that our path does not include our home bin file or uh, home bin folder. So I did want to point that out. Uh, 
Let's see here. Um, so we could take uh, we could take this path, and we could just paste it in again here, and of course it'll work. It'll work for now. But so now if we run our command, it'll go ahead and uh, grab grab the things that we need. Now we're going to run into another error as well, or we should. Yep, and there it is. So we have not configured Git to add our email and our um, username. So great thing is you can just copy this line right here, highlight it, middle click, there you go. Highlight it, middle click, there you go. And sure enough, then we'll be configured. So now we run that command again and everything works. So a little convoluted, but uh, we wanted to get that, uh, leave that in there. Wanted you to see that. So hopefully you can get through that yourself too. So we're gonna start uh, this repo sync of this minimal uh, Android build for Lineage OS so we can make twerps.